This week is uh, our lineup of post-conference uh, glass workshops, and we invited people uh, with specific goals in mind. You know, we're looking for innovators, we're looking for people with good ideas, and then we're looking to uh, really bring the hot shop and the studios, the flame working, casting, to life during this period of time. We're going to do these great choreographies of smashes. We might just do them out here. My name is Gary Schwartz and I'm originally from New Jersey to Philadelphia to Los Angeles to Detroit, Michigan. Okay, we're here in the hot shop in the glass pavilion of the Toledo Museum of Art. We're in the hot shop. Let's do it! I was an animation director in Los Angeles. I worked for all the usual suspects, Disney, Fox Television, Klasky Chupo. And then I transferred, creating a business of doing animation workshops all over the world. But not from a technical point of view or focus, it's from a point of view of creativity, imagination, and self-expression. Uh, Gary is, is used to taking found objects. As a matter of fact, I met Gary in Detroit. When I was living in Detroit, he was going through my trash, looking for uh, some interesting things. So um, that gives you an idea of where he can find creativity and, and find his ideas. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit of a kind of a scrounger. And I, I use found objects that I find in the trash. By contrast to Gary, Martin is a very mellow guy. It's all about uh, speed, it just work. Except of course when he's working glass, it's really an amazing thing to see. My name is Martin Janetsky and I'm from Czech Republic. I'm trying to bring anything I got, everything I got, to help the students. Besides that, I'm trying to show them some of the techniques I've been working with and also to show to Gary what's possible in glass. Martin is an incredible master of uh, sculpting, portraiture, uh, figures, just about anything you ask the guy to make, he can make it uh, with incredible precision. He's actually working a lot with forms of figures, heads, hands, there objects. It is musical instruments made out of glass. So he's really kind of pushing it from that point of view. Look at his face. We're getting very different perspectives, but two incredibly skilled and focused um, technicians in their fields. And the fact that we're collaborating, now we're moving, we're taking glass into the fourth dimension. This is the place where I'd like you to go back in in the sound and go doo -doo 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 -doo. I need a shooter. We have about six students and they, um, they're from an area, from different schools. Uh, and the animation that they're making is going to be sort of a culmination of their experience here in Toledo. Martin was clear what he was going to do, but we had to figure out a way to have make minds meet and make this workshop actually kind of gel. The way Jeff handled it, he made me a part of the gas conference first. I got Glass University in one week, and as a result of that, I could come in and have some sense of how to, how, how to direct this with Martin. Very much if you want me to. But, but I, want, I want it to feel like that's what it means. So Martin made a ball, and from the ball, he made it turn into another object in a series of stages. We took that ball, and I had everyone work from the same ball and then animate to some other object. So you have to make like a 10 shapes and every single shape has to kind of connect with the previous one and so it does the magic when he animates it, it's kind of just like whoop, whoop. Class in the fourth dimension. dimension. I had never really thought about animation with glass so uh, to be able to make the figures or, you know, the sculpted objects come to life is really a beautiful thing. You're going to go back down to... Like, where
working with Gary has been great. He's very, he knows exactly what he wants and it's kind of good because it pushes you in a different direction. Let's think about this because we have to do a setup that's going to go to the shatter. We needed something that was a real high point in the film. I think we figured it out. Somehow, somehow that has got to be it. Yeah. And looking through the sphere, we're looking, deciding, what is the best place that highlights this building and this museum? This has got to be the most, it, com it pales in comparison to everything else. Absolutely. Well, I'm going to have to give Jeff the bad news. We want to shoot in one of the galleries. <laughs> that was the best location of all because it was so colorful and explosive. Where's Jeff? Where's who? Jeff? Oh, I, had to, I had to go right, right there at a big party and I said, I've got bad news for you, Jeff. I have really bad news for you. What? We desperately want to use the Dominic Rubino wall to shoot in front of. Can we do that? We have to shoot right inside the gallery. We, we can? Yeah. We'll set up for, we'll just set up for tomorrow. We'll, sh we'll shoot This it. is Gary Schwartz. Okay. Hello. Gary was sort of really spearheading the whole process in the very Hollywood director style. It's uh, pretty neat to see. See how it's starting? It's just great to um, be around a person like that who's like so creative and like so passionate about his work and I hope the students um, they see the different possibilities, the way of using glass. We created a workshop that actually was very successful. But what's fun about it is it could have been an utter disaster. 